In this training video, I'm going to show you how to create a full 360 degree view animation video. So again, we're still working with the same piece as the previous videos, and I'm still going to select on render and receive my pop-up. Now on the top, rather than still image, I'm going to select animation, but before I do that, I need to actually insert that, the type of animation I'd like. So I'm going to come into animation, and I'm going to select animation wizard. Now this actually gives you quite a few options. In order to get the full 360 degree view video, you want to select turntable. You also have translation and rotation depending on what you want to see. But for the full 360 degree view, you want to make sure you're on turntable. And you're just going to go ahead and click next. You're going to select models because that's what we want to go ahead and rotate as our piece. Click next. And in this last uh, pop-up, you're just going to go ahead and select finish. There's nothing that you need to change on this portion we can go ahead and close this out and come into animation. Now my resolution is already set to 400 by 400 because that's what I pre-selected beforehand and I'm going to click and check on video output. Now if you're sending these to PCs the format AVI which comes set as default is perfect. If you're sending this to a client or you yourself have a Mac that you're working with you want to make sure that you select QuickTime MP EG4. So depending on, on what your client's needs are, those are the two options. You can either save it as AVI, which again, that comes as default, or if you're going to go ahead and send it to somebody who's Mac friendly, um, go ahead and select the QuickTime version. Again, it's just like the still image. You can rename your piece, but you still want to keep that dot and then the extension of whatever format you're selecting. So I'm just going to keep it as tester, keep that dot AVI. Folder, once again, select the blue icon. I'm just going to go ahead and place this on my desktop select OK and then click render. At this point what it's going to do is it's going to take a still image uh, one frame at a time. It's a total of 124 frames as you can see up at the top. It's taking a still image one frame at a time and it's slowly rotating it. So the end result of this is going to be your 360 degree view video. Now for training purposes um, I will go ahead and speed this process up and then I'll show you guys the end result towards the end of the video. Okay, so again, for training purposes, I did cut this and, and speed up the process. Um, it didn't take more than about 34 minutes, which is normally the time that you'll see on these uh, more simple, simple designs. If you have really intricate designs that have a lot of stones, the maximum amount of time you might see is maybe 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the, the power that you have on your computer or your laptop. Um, so once again, this is done. It's completed to the 124. So now I'm able to close it. It's going to encode the file. It'll let me know where it was saved. So again, I saved it on my desktop. I'm just going to select OK. I can go ahead and minimize my Firestorm. Open up my video and you can see it'll give me that full 360 degree view um, of my ring itself. So again, that was under animation. Thank you.